Sometimes you work really hard on a drawing. It's done beautifully and you are feeling good. Now to get started on the painting, but wait, how do I get that to the canvas? Do I have to draw this again? No! Hiya guys, Vic Freer of Vic Freer Art here. I paint and I draw. In this video, I will be showing you three ways I use to transfer my drawings onto a canvas. They are relatively easy and cost next to nothing. These are ways I have used to transfer my drawings or reference pictures onto the canvases and have found them to be very useful. Let's get on with it then. Okay guys, so the first way to transfer your drawings onto a canvas or to another surface is by using the good old grid system. If you've taken art classes, you may be familiar with it. I learned it in high school, many years ago, and it does require a little bit of effort. I taught my high school students this method when I was teaching art. I would add that this method is more suited for when you are looking to make your drawing or image on your paper bigger on the canvas. I have used this myself to complete larger paintings. This is especially useful if you are going to do murals or anything large scale like that and don't have access to a projector. So let's say you have this awesome drawing you made and you want to transfer it to this larger canvas. The first thing you want to do is draw a grid over your reference drawing or picture. So let's say that this drawing is 8 by 10 and your canvas is 16 by 20. I would do the grid on the reference using 1 inch squares. On the canvas I would draw 2 inch squares and then begin drawing. I will do a separate video dedicated to this method, so I won't show you too much here. The next method is using charcoal or graphite on the back of a paper. I prefer using charcoal, but graphite works as well. You can use this powder or just a charcoal stick like this one. Now this is more suited for a painting that would be the same size as your drawing. So if your drawing is 8x10, your painting will also be 8x10, at least a drawing will be. So this is a very quick and easy way, but a rather messy way of transferring your drawing onto another surface. Here you take your awesome drawing, and then using a charcoal stick, you rub the charcoal onto the back of your drawing. Take a napkin or a chamois and spread the charcoal around to create a film. I like to use this uh, sponge here. Once you have your charcoal on the back of the drawing, you place your drawing on top of a blank canvas. In this case, it's another paper, but you get the point. Then you just draw over it. Make sure you apply slight pressure, but not too much, otherwise you'll punch a hole. And voila, there's your transfer. The next and last method is using carbon paper like this one. You can get this at your local art store or Amazon. I have the link down below, by the way. It's quite easy to use. You take the carbon paper and you make sure you are using the correct side. It's the same principle as the last one, where you rub the carbon on the back of the drawing, except this is a separate sheet. You place the carbon sheet on top of the canvas or blank paper. Then you place a drawing or your reference. You're going to transfer on top of the carbon paper. And now you draw over the lines and you have your drawing transferred. I didn't mention a projector because, well, it does require a small investment to even get a decent one. This one I bought a few years ago, but I don't like to use it and it wasn't very expensive. I've tried using it a couple of times and had to restart both drawings because I think it warped the images and my drawings just seemed off. I don't know, uh, maybe sometime in the future I will. Now understand I'm not against the use of projectors, but that's a discussion for another video. There is one last way of drawing your reference onto a canvas. I got this thing for Christmas. Uh, it's called the Lucy. You may have seen advertisements for it. Anyhow, I've tried using it and I can't figure it out. I've even watched their YouTube videos on how to use this thing. Quite honestly, I just didn't see any benefit to it, at least not for what I was doing. So that's it guys. I hope you found this information valuable. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Also, I am working on a couple of videos doing product reviews of the projector and the Lucy that you saw. So consider hitting the subscribe button below and clicking on that bell if you haven't already to get notifications of future videos. Again, thanks for your support. Thank you for watching. Peace.